Dallas Hall on the UW-Madison campus. This is the Badger Report. We're back with more election night coverage. Thanks for joining us. Since our last broadcast, Obama has been projected as winning New Hampshire. With New Hampshire going to Obama, the Electoral College vote now sits at 159 to 147 in Romney's favor. And while it isn't on our map here, we have just gotten word that Arizona has gone to Romney. And one of the most heated Senate races is still too close to call. The Badger Report's Emily Connor is here with the latest update. Results are in for Wisconsin's 2nd, 5th, 6th, and 8th congressional districts. Democratic candidate Mark Pocan has won the 2nd district. The former state assembly member will be filling Tammy Baldwin's open seat. Republican incumbents Jim Sensenbrenner, Tom Petrie, and Reed Ribble have won the 5th, 6th, and 8th districts, respectively. However, other congressional districts remain too close to call. The Senate race also remains undecided. Tommy Thompson now holds a narrow lead as only 28 precincts have reported results. Reuters, however, has already called the race for Tammy Baldwin. Rural counties in Wisconsin often report first. Democratic strongholds Milwaukee and Madison often return results later. Stay tuned for more updates. Thanks, Emily. Now, that Senate update, that Senate update is really interesting. And speaking of interesting races, what update do you have for us on the 1st Congressional District? Sure. As you know, the 1st Congressional District is between Representative Paul Ryan, who is running as vice presidential candidate with the Romney ticket, and his challenger is Democratic candidate Rob Zerbon. Uh, this is an interesting election to watch because if Paul Ryan does win on the Romney ticket and wins his seat in the 1st District, there will be a special election in Wisconsin, which is the first of our history. Uh, but right now, the race is too close to call. Only about 30% of precincts are reporting. Uh, Rob Zerbon is still behind Paul Ryan, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay. So the Badger Report, Allie Kilm wanted to test the knowledge of Madison voters. She took the streets to get the story. Barack Obama and Joe Biden. Barack Obama and Joe Biden. I'm Allie Kilm with the Badger Report here in the streets of Madison to determine how informed voters truly are on issues critical in this year's election. When asked, all response can name Joe Biden as the Vice President of the United States. Sounds easy, right? Apparently 15% of the public doesn't know who the Vice President is. However, when asked to name foreign leaders, Madison students had a little more trouble. According to a 2007 Pew Research Center survey, only 36% of Americans could identify the President of Russia. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Domestically, when it comes to the big social issues such as abortion rights and same-sex marriage, most respondents know where each party stands. Um, Democrats are generally more pro-women's rights and pro-choice, where Republicans are more generally pro-life. The Republicans feel as if, you know, same-sex marriage should not be legalized across the board, whereas the majority of Democrats feel you know, the opposite. However, when it came to more economic issues, such as health care and the environment, people got a little lost. Oh, yeah, I have no idea who supports that, but I know it's a thing. It's something to do with health care. <laughs> it's all I know. <laughs> For the Badger Report, I'm Allie Killam. Thanks, Allie. Next up, we're going to hear from Brendan with 60 Seconds of Politics. Thanks, Jose. Many Wisconsinites chose to take the option of voting early during this election. However, early voting might not be as useful as it seems, especially for voters in other states. Here's 60 Seconds of Politics. Proponents of early voting have not considered um, is that you can't look at early voting isolation from other election administration laws, particularly uh, voter registration laws. If you have early voting, it doesn't really help people who forgot to register. And so the, the best combination is the combination of the, the trifecta of same-day registration, election day registration, and early voting. And so that's why one reason that we're always in the top three or four in the country in voter turnout. But if you have just early voting by itself without the registration, you know, then it actually depresses turnout. These are people who would have voted otherwise, you know, would have voted anyway. That reduces the stimulative effect of election day. You know, if you're living in a state where, say, 60% of the people already have have voted, to get out the vote drive is not going to be anywhere near as intense as it would be in a state where nobody's voted early. Thankfully, Wisconsin does have the trifecta required to make early voting a positive option, but not all other states do. Voters and policymakers should be careful, or more early voting could turn into less total voting. 
Thanks, Brendan. That brings our segment to a close, but stay tuned on the Badger Report for further updates this evening.